Now we shall learn using editor templates. We are going to continue the same project that we have been using till now and will demonstrate how to use editor templates with the same project. First of all let us understand why do we need to use editor templates or why are we wishing to use it. If you consider this form that we are doing right now, it has two fields, one for the name and one for the phone. The same form can be used at two places. The first is when you are creating a new record. The second is when you are updating information when you are editing information. This means this form has to be used at two places. So we must template it out so that it is created at one place and used again and again in the project. This is the reason why we would need a template here. You can always check out your project for places where templating would be possible. Generally it is possible where you want to use a form or a view at more than one place. So let us now see how templating is done in MVC. For this we shall go to the solution explorer. right click on the home folder, the folder for our controller, right click, add new folder called editor templates. This name is hard coded into MVC. You cannot change the spellings of this folder. Don't change the spellings. No spell change. Because this is a part of the MVC framework. We shall place all templates of the home controller in this folder. So let us now right click and add, add new item. So we can add a partial page, give it any name we'll give it a name create user temp template okay give any name and click add so we have used a partial page so that nothing is written in it, in it previously otherwise we would have been required to delete it now coming back to this let us suppose we want this part of the code to be templatized. We have cut it and taken it here, formatting it and at the top we should write the model. right for the model and once you add this at the rate model at the top all errors vanish and this part becomes an editor template for us. We could have picked 
from here also we could have picked this also but we wanted to keep certain freedom with us when it comes to the layout it is possible that in a certain page more elements are there and this is one of them so we didn't want to bring this one we have only brought the table part and this has now been templatized and how to now make use of this template in this page for making use of this template in this page we'll have to type at the rate html dot editor for model and here if we do not put anything then it renders the default template the way if you remember in our original lecture from where we started you can see run it it displays this default template in its own layout but now we want our template where our custom layout is there should be used here let us see how the technique is to pass the name of your editor template into this mbc will automatically understand that it has to search in the folder called editor templates so let us now pass the name the name is create user template create user template we don't have to write css html extension here we don't have to write the path to the editor templates it is built into the mbc framework it will automatically pick up let us now run it and see what are the results yes we get the same layout but this time it has been templated it has come from a template now see whether everything works fine click on save and validations work things in mvc are pretty simple if done with the technique look how simpler this code has become and this template can now be reused at the time when we want to edit it but currently we are using the uh, we are discussing the creation of a new record and we have now seen how templating is possible and how templating can simplify the code and make it more systematic thanks